What is gaming gamers? We're jumping in to City Skylines. I've never made a video in City Skylines and I've always kind of wanted to. I just didn't know if it would lag a lot and it might lag a little bit here and there. I'm not sure. The problem is like I got this nice little city here on this Europe map. It's not a crazy big city but it's kind of one I made for this video. Um, and yeah we're just gonna kind of mess around and try to make the city a little bit more interesting. I did do the proper thing before I started the video and I uh, erased Denmark off the map to make you all happy so don't worry we are going for accurate <laughs> accurism. Some random flooding going on in the mountain range of Norway. Makes perfect sense. Um, apparently we gotta worry about uh, what's it called? Global warming and uh, rising seawater. Is the Netherlands doing okay? Or Benny Lux, I call it in this map. Actually, there is some flooding going on even even around here. Is this building underwater? <laughs> it looks like it. There's a lot of uh, flooding near our city. This road is underwater. So we do got some flooding issues, apparently, in our great village. Uh, we gotta watch out for that global warming. We got the great Lucario statue overlooking our people. This is, this is the, the most glorious statue in the game. Uh, I think it's a mod, if you guys want to get the mod at least, but it's a beautiful thing to behold. The Lucario overlooking the people and a, a gigantic statue that's like triple the size of Lucario. It's going to be our Ocean Heights Tower. What should we rename it to? We're going to call it Europe 1 because it is the number one tower in Europe. There's no really towers in UK, and I, I think mainly for Ireland we just got some shipping yards that apparently the trash is piling up on because there's no good road system for the <laughs> trash people to get out there. Is our rocket- oh, our rocket is ready also. I think this is our Trip X launch site. We will launch the glorious rocket into space. What color should it be? be red for our glorious communism in Europe and we will launch this glorious rocket to the stars three two one we officially have a liftoff our glorious rocket is going into space the bluebird heavy one shall make it to Mars the people are glory hap or the people are very pleased at our rocket launch. Can these rockets blow up in this game? It'd be kind of interesting if they could. I don't think they can, but the Bluebird Heavy has officially made it to space. It's a glorious day for the people of this polluted village, and it will forever be remembered as the day we took our brave people to Mars. Alright, how can we expand this city? It says we need more buildings uh, for business. Not a lot of housing demand in our village. I don't know how to get the population to rise like at a rapid level. I've always been kind of bad at that in this game. Um, just getting more people to the city despite... Like I have everything here for them to want to move in. Like I got four airports. I got literally tons of uh, supplies that can ship through. I always make sure to have the supplies be our main focus because... I don't want the stores to run out of materials and just start mass going out of business. Um, and then we got lots of schools. We have schools everywhere, yet we still don't have employed workers, which I don't understand that. Because I got so many people, like I, I literally got like at least five high schools in this city. Like there's one there, there's one here, there's another one here, which that one apparently has no water, so <laughs> maybe that's the issue, I don't know this giant crater here in the city it's always nice to, to have I think I made that as like a, a drainage ditch because there's like a massive flood coming um, at one point Switzerland looking pretty boring not gonna lie should we make it interesting maybe I'll make uh, I don't know this could be like the ghetto the ghetto of our our city <laughs> we'll, we'll just have all these ghetto dirt roads and we'll have Switzerland be here We'll build us a beautiful little Switzerland vacation ghetto type thing. We'll have something kind of like this for our village. Nothing too crazy, but now we can uh, 
start putting some uh, different buildings. We're gonna have, again, this is gonna be the ghetto of the village, so just have like a lot of houses here. Kinda place them wherever, it don't really matter a whole lot. And uh, once we got all these houses down, we're gonna put a little bit of business in the center of this ghetto. And yeah, this little area here will be where the businesses are. And uh, maybe we'll have some office space right here, just some decent looking office space and maybe some more houses right here. And we'll slowly start seeing this village kind of do its thing and build up. So there's now water coming to this region and a lot of businesses are officially moving in. So lots of restaurants and drug stores and lots of things <laughs> you'd find in a ghetto. Remember that Robin from Teen Titans has officially moved into Switzerland, of all places, right next to the university. So actually, this is probably a probably the nicer part of the ghetto, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's right by the, the university. I don't have any of the DLC for City Skylines. Uh, if there is some good DLC, I might get it, so tell me in the comments, I guess. Uh, if you want to see more City Skylines, I might play it a little bit more here and there, but I don't know. Uh, it kind of just depends if you guys want to see it. City Skylines is kind of one of those games where some people like it, some people don't, so I don't really want to play it if nobody's interested. I know when I play this game, I just play it for fun every now and then. It's kind of like The Sims, where it's like, I don't play it a lot, but I play it whenever I just want to play a simulation game where I kind of build out my city or house or whatever. Got our beautiful wind turbine making tons of noise pollution right in the center of the city. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's why people don't want to move in. Because they know I'm just going to place lots of windmills by their houses. And, you know, they're probably right. They're probably right. Are we relocating this house? I guess we can. Can we reload it to... To the hood we'll relocate our elementary school i'm actually i'm gonna move it back i'm gonna turn the robin residence into a historical building just so it never gets torn down and yeah we're just always gonna remember the the glorious robin red resident residence <laughs> oh my geez if i can speak today oh wow the drugstore is getting an upgrade so skyscraper now or at least it's getting close what is this the primrose residence somebody's building a mansion out here or maybe it's just a big house in general or is it a duplex it kind of looks like a duplex lots of people moving in now though to switzerland switzerland is starting to grow pretty rapidly how many people live here 190 people. How many live in Germany? Germany is at 6,000. So Germany makes up the majority of our population. I think France is second at 1,500 unless the UK is winning. UK is at 3,000 almost. So UK has a lot more people than I was expecting. I guess these are some pretty big houses though. And this is a nice, nice neighborhood. So UK is probably doing pretty good. A lot of people are getting sick out here though. And I don't think I have a hospital actually in this area, so maybe we should put a hospital down really quick. Just build a big hospital. We'll just put a big hospital like right here so people can get, you know, their help. And I also tore down the, the sick houses, so now people should be able to get healed in this area. We're also going to place a lot more business right here uh, in Wales, and hopefully that can lower our business demand and start to, you know, really improve this region of the map. I think a lot of businesses are going to move in really quickly since this is such a large area with a lot of people in it that really didn't have any businesses to begin with. Alright, so our city is looking a little bit better now. Um, I'm kind of getting bored, though. I kind of want to, you know, stir up some trouble for them, so... Uh, I kind of want to do just a gigantic flood, and obviously I don't have any of the, uh, the DLC. So usually how I just flood the map is I just build a lot of dams everywhere, 
and I try to cause as many issues as possible for the waves at least so uh, let's just put a gigantic dam <laughs> just right here it doesn't matter where we put it to be completely honest we can put it literally anywhere we'll just have a gigantic dam uh, maybe we'll dam off like <laughs> the UK from itself and uh, we'll build just a gigantic dam right there you know what's the What's the worst that could happen from this, honestly? We'll just have another gigantic dam right here, and we'll just place a, you know, like three of them right here, just for no reason whatsoever. And once we got all that done, we just bulldoze them and watch the the chaos unfold in our city. And it should cause a lot of problems for the citizens of uh, the region, especially the UK, I'd assume. So we're going to kind of watch as the UK implodes on itself. And yeah, so we got a lot of waves now to uh, kind of watch how it all plays out. It might lag a little bit here. That's okay. I want to see how it affects the UK. Is it just going to build up a gigantic wave right here? It's like, <laughs> look at this. It literally goes down to the, the sea level. It's going to flood the UK pretty bad, I think. And now it officially hits the land. And we can watch as the, the waves hit the UK. I think there's a lot more flooding going on up here in uh, Scotland. <laughs> as it overruns these houses. People will lose their cars in the water. Some people are just driving right through it. They don't seem to care. <laughs> Look at this part of the, the city. It's literally underwater. Like you could not live here. There is no way anybody could live in this area. So UK is pretty much underwater. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of issues going on right here, unless that's just normal. Um, how is the the no the Netherlands are also not doing very good? It looked like they were completely underwater for a little bit. UK getting hit by a gigantic wave though, so UK is probably going to see some vehicles get turned over right here. So they get slammed into the sidewalks, I guess. Looks like some in northern Germany is starting to flood a little bit here by the good old communist statue of our <laughs> industry. Um, so, lots of damage going on in the north of Germany. The Minecraft block plaza still stands though. As long as the Minecraft block stands, I think the people will be alright. The glorious communist <laughs> society. This might be the thumbnail. This is kind of a nice little shot right here. But, uh, it's the glorious society of Minecraft here. Lots of floods. A big flood here, too. Will this take down a house? It might. I don't know. Lots of cars getting turned over here, though, in the water. A police car got completely screwed over. Lots of people are underwater. And I think some trash trucks also got immobilized, so... Lots of damage going on right now in the streets of London, and uh, just the UK in general, not London. Um, but yeah, overall, though, it looks like the flooding is kind of slowing down. I think this is a little bit of a, a decent point to end it. Uh, if you guys want me to like do anything big in this city, tell me. Again, I don't own any of the DLC, so if there's any good mods, tell me, and I'll try to install them for this, and I'll add some really cool stuff to the city. So if there's any cool mods, tell me. And I might check them out. I already got a lot of dumb mods like the Lucario statue and the Minecraft block plaza. So if you guys know any other cool ones, just tell me. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you guys for the next one. This has been me kind of messing around in City Skyline. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.